I love community. I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to convert string to date and time using the Python. And if you want to learn more about different topics in the Python side, you can visit the playlist. Under the playlist, you can see Python tips available here with real test cases. And apart from this, if you need any help related Python, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Source code also available in the GitHub. Make sure you can follow that repository. We have also different social media pages. Make sure to follow those one. And if you want to support this channel using many ways, buy me coffee, PayPal, or using this join button. So let's back to our main topic, like how you can convert your string to date and time object using the Python. So here I'm right now. I'm using Python, the latest version, Python. 3.10 okay and uh, right now i'm giving you the whole demo in the terminal only we don't need to create at the moment any files and to execute that files okay i will try to give you the demo in the terminal only so for that like let me go to in the terminal for the python and i will use like python 3.10 and you can see here what is my python version is this one all right and now let's say we have a scenario to convert into dead and time object right or let's say in the time what happens sometimes is we are trying to get data in the json format or in the string format right and we have to convert compulsory into the date and time format so how you can do so you don't need to install or set up any extra packages python inbuilt python already provide that library which is called the date and time so first thing is uh, right now I'm trying to import that library so for that like I will use import dead time all right after that like let's say we have one more scenario let's say variable as a str dead and here in this double quote like let's say we have one more scenario to like we have one dat in the string format let's say to do, do, do let's say the year let's say the month what is the month name and here let's say 27 okay and then after like let's say we have also time so let's say 20 and like this so let me print this one so you can see it's available in the string format okay so for now let's say I want to do some operations in the date and time related operations so we cannot uh, do without date and time object right so for that we compulsory need to convert this string this simple string into the date and time object right so for that we have to convert so here like let's say the Python already provide a good library which is this date and time and for this date and time we also have one more method we need to call so for that like let's say date and time date and time dot and here we have to use one more method like let's say str e and time so this method we need to pass two things the first thing is the string of the date and time and another thing is the format of that string date and time okay so don't worry about these two things the first thing is very easy so here in the first parameter we have to pass this str date which is this string now you have to remember is this string in which format so let's say the format should be like you can see here this is the format the first thing is the year then after desk then after you can see the month then after desk then after you can see the day right after that you can see the space right and after we also provide here the time also let's say the hour colon then after let's say the minutes colon and the milliseconds right now we have to provide here that format to understand the python and it will convert into string to the date and time okay so here first thing is we need to use here percentage sign to parse this year okay 
so for that we need to use here the year the capital one you can also use the smaller one in case you are not providing this 20 you can if you are using this one 22 then you can use here minus y all right so this is the date and time format but right now our main focus is how you can convert your string to date and time object so now let's say percentage y after that you can see here we you, we are using here dask sign right so we can use dask after that what is my another format is for the month like percentage m then after again task percentage d so this is my date format now what about my time format right in the string so we have to use the space after the days and here we have to use percentage hour so remember the h hour for the hours you have to use h as a capital then after you can see the colon right in the string after that you can use here percentage then after you can use the m the capital m after that we also provided here the milliseconds right so percentage milliseconds like this oh sorry the seconds so the last one is the seconds so here we can use the s here now let's say if i will try to press it will automatically convert into date and time now so let me also store in this variable something like dt underscore dead now you can see str dead is the string format and dt underscore dead this is dead and time object all right so let's say if you don't know how to differentiate the type you can like use the type str dead you can see the string it's written and let's say dt underscore dead now you can see this is the date and time related object all right so here you can do many operations for this object let's say you want to convert into on the date right i don't need the times and all so you can use the date and it will automatically convert into the date let's say you want to only use the time right so you can also use time then it will display like this you can see here this is the time and this is the date so like this way you can do many operations all right so this is the simple demo like how you can convert your string to the date and time object if you have any query related to this topic please comment below and see you in next session